we have the next two speakers that both have something to show you. Uh, so the next one is uh, Jean-Michel Metz from Bike 43. So this is actually a Luxembourgish startup that has designed... Thank you. I'll just uh, bring it to Bike. Setting, so we should better foresee, right? <laughs> uh, so actually, the um, yeah, we can see. Where do I push? Just one. Okay. So um, actually, Kazia, thank you very much for inviting me tonight. Um, the uh, actually, I'm not going to sell my product. This is uh, just uh, just to show. The, the the whole idea was to actually explain a little bit about uh, uh, what the designer had in mind uh, when he, he came up with this this idea of the bike. Actually, um, the, the topic here is to identify barriers uh, to uh, to cycling, and that's exactly what the designer had in mind when he designed the bike. Um, the um, most of the the, the stuff I'm, I'm going to cover uh, in the beginning, I'm going to go very fast. Uh, I know we should just see part of the, the things, so it's going to be tough. Uh, here, uh, I was just saying that basically urban mobility is breaking down, so uh, we all can see that. Um, yeah, it's too fast. So, and there are actually two drivers, but once again, Mark covered that. The, uh, the first driver, have fun. Yeah, so uh, there are basically the drivers are more population, which is getting more mobile and more individual. And the statistics show that uh, the number of kilometers done within cities are going to double for 2030 and triple for 2050. And uh, the second drivers are cars. Uh, so basically we've seen there the numbers growing uh, for the last decades and they, they really are big. I mean cars, they have a high footprint, high pollution, um, high cost and uh, while offering really low occupancy and low agility, it's basically moving one ton of steel for just moving one person most of the time. So 70 kilo, 80 kilos for one ton, it's very inefficient. So uh, just pushing on the trend, uh, statistics show that traffic jam will double by 2050. Uh, so this is basically what the, the designer had in mind he was living in Brussels, uh, very friendly to bikes. So what he was actually looking for is uh, basically a convenient way to go to the city, which was fast. Once again, I said convenient, which was offering moderate cost and which was healthy. So he came to, uh, to say, okay, right now what I see is bikes, uh, so I'm going to just pick up a bike. So their first experience with bikes uh, he actually put a child seat because he, one of the thing, big thing was to just drive his, his child around the city. And with the, the first experience was that uh, his wife uh, just uh, pushing the bike, hit a curb, and the bike went in a wheelie like this. So she got scared, she said, I just don't want to drive the bike anymore. Give me something more heavy, something more stable, something I'm gonna, not going to be afraid of. But that's not a solution. Heavy, you carry this weight all the time. So uh, at the same time, he had himself and actually his wife too, uh, both of them uh, encountered an accident. So somebody opened a door right in front of them. So he smashed the uh, his door, smashed right here. And um, luckily he had his daughter on the back seat, so he said, okay, I, I'm, I'm confident with this design of having the, uh, the daughter on, on the back. So after those two kind of events, he was looking on the market and searched for a different solution. So, uh, yeah, so he was actually looking for, for alternatives. So the first one we already see down there is just a, to put an additional seat on a standard bike, we see it's very dangerous, doesn't really work. Uh, the, it's very unsafe. Uh, the other solution uh, he came up with, he was looking for... Uh, comes back. Yeah, there it is. It was just trailers. 
the, the thing with the trailers is it's, it's very unsafe too. It's very long. Uh, once a child gets on the board, I mean, it's very unstable, and then uh, basically your child's are low on the ground. So not very, very stable. So not very good solution either. So the very popular solution that uh, uh, we see a lot of people are using are yeah, cargo bikes. So those are, are what we see a lot. So cargo bikes. Um, I see one right there, nice one. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the those are, are very nice bikes, usually designed to, to just haul cargo around. Uh, the, the problem is that the, the, the charge are in front. And given his experience uh, in his accidents, he said it's, it's a no go. I want my, my kids at the back. Those are usually quite long bikes and quite heavy bikes as well. So there are other type of designs and that's where he came up with this, uh, what we call long tail type of design. His objective was, was to carry his two kids because he had a first one and a second one, plus groceries. Really the idea was to replace a car. Uh, so go to grocery, go to uh, the childcare, uh, go to work and come back. And uh, as I rode up there, also have fun. <laughs> have fun with the bike. The bike is, is going to be something nice, not just a truck that you uh, roll around. It's just something that you wanted to have fun with. So we designed the... Um, came up with this idea of uh, bringing a bike, child at the back, for safety. Uh, something which uh, you might see uh, look like a long bike. It's because of the, the, the wheel size are, are already small. In fact, it's uh, something like 10 centimeters longer than a standard bike. So the idea also is there is that you can, if you live in, in a city, you can just uh, bring up your bike in, a, in an elevator, for instance. Uh, so really, the idea also is to have uh, what we call a low step, so people can easily get in and out of the bike. Low center of gravity, that's why we have a small wheel at the back. The battery is down there, it's an e-bike. Uh, so that's basically what, what the, the, the package came up with. So um, just to conclude, and I'm not going to talk about that, the, uh, the idea he had and the, the problem he faced in the city, uh, we realized basically that uh, showing this bike to many fairs are, are common problems. And um, the fact that uh, it's also both a common problem and the e-bike market is growing really, really rapidly at something like 20% a year for or over than the last five years. This gives us kind of a business opportunity. And that's why we are uh, right now involved with uh, just uh, selling this, this bike. Okay, thank you.